Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. I have a pen gems haul to share with y'all. Um, I had gotten a notification they were running a limited like mystery sale and they don't do those all the time. So I went ahead and snagged one and um, I ordered a few things. So if you're into pen gems or journaling, then I think you're gonna enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, little sneak peek. <gasps> oh, um, I'm going to pull this down. It's a cute top. And they always come with a cute little penguin because that's their mascot uh, paperclip. Um, if you want to join their Facebook group, uh, maybe you can pause this and scan that. And then it says, if you were a fruit, you would be a fine apple. <laughs> and then I don't know if these were included as the mystery um, or thank yous because I did place a decent sized order. But these are all stickers. So I guess the penguin, you know, dressed up. So there are those. Stick that over there. And so I ordered <coughs> the City Pop set, which is this right here. Um... And I can't, I think it came with something that's at the bottom. I can't remember. I Oh, so I ordered a mystery package, a mystery box. And then I ordered the City Pop set. And then I ordered a pen that I think was called High Maintenance um, Love Affair. So, I'll be honest, I don't know which one that is. Anywho, so we're going to check this out. I love when you order their sets. They each... Each little box matches the pen inside. Um, so we have, so this is Lagos. This is Shanghai. Casablanca. Uh, this is Mumbai. And Cairo. So... We're going to start with Cairo. We're going to do it this way. And we're going to go in kind of like color order. Darker to lighter. Okay. Well, then I guess I need to go with Lagos, huh? So we're going to go with Lagos. Or Lagos. I don't... I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. And I believe... I think it's a country in Africa. I used to be really, really good with geography. I loved geography. Um, so very beautiful. Um, I don't think the video is going to show the print on the barrel very well, but it is a like metallic blue with a silver print. And then the gems look black, but they're like a very deep royal navy blue. It's actually quite beautiful. And then the top. That's kind of the color of the gems on the inside. So I guess we will do that. Next we have Cairo. Do to do. Put that there. Very pretty. This has an ombre to it. If you can see, it's uh, like a teal and then a blue at the bottom. And then you have some really beautiful... Um, images on there they are um like egyptian images but it's like um fans i want to say they're probably like lotuses i think and then now the top gem is gold but the gems on the inside there's two colors in there there's like a soft green blue and then like a nice blue blue <laughs> so basically it matches the one gem is like this color of it. And then the darker version down there. We have Casablanca. And 
this is gorgeous. We have a nice ombre going on there. And it kind of goes all the way around because parts of it, there's it's like wider at the top and the bottom and darker in the middle. So you go. And we have a single colored gem on the inside and it matches the one on top. So there are those. Next we have Shanghai. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be reds. Oh, yes, it is. It's like a metallic red. And um, then we have a, the dragon on there. And then these beautiful red gems. And on top, there's that. And then we have Mumbai. This one's gorgeous. So this is an ombre effect as well. We have more of a pink up top and it fades down into like kind of an orange here towards the bottom and it's it's really hard for me to share the design on here um it's beautiful and then we have pink gems and pink on top all right so those are all from the city pop I'll stick those there and the pens in here. We'll do that. How's that? It'll be easy for me to figure out what box they belong in. So there we go. So there's that. So that was a set. Um, one of these has to be a pen that I ordered. High maintenance love affair. So I'm going to... Good vibes. I'm thinking it might be this one. People who are pen gem junkies will know. I'm thinking it's either one of these two. And you know what? We'll just go up here and put in pen gems. go to their website I probably should have done this ahead of time oh my gosh they're coming out with one <gasps> oh m goodness they have a Alice in Wonderland coming it's called painting the roses red I am so getting that oh so they have mystery boxes. So they have a large box. It's sold out. I believe I got one of those. And then there's a small package. So I got I bought one of each. So one the large box was 45. The package was 25. The large box came with three pens. The small package came with two. So five. Yeah. So I think it's um this mystery package for 25 is still available if you want to check it out. Um, oh, okay. So I guess I ordered the bundle. The City Pop bundle. Because it came with this. No, it just says City Pop set. So this must have, this came in one of the mystery deals. Oh, this is kind of spiffy. Okay. Um, let's get back to these two. My apologies. We are going to search for, what did it say? Love Affair? Love. Love Affair High maintenance it's this one okay so I paid twelve dollars for this one um, when you oh, mustache is coming when you order individuals I believe they come they all come, all of my pens boys come like this and this is hard to see but there are white pink and like gray gems on the inside. 
or like smoke colored gems and we have a nut pretty pink one this is in gold and I love the print on the barrel and I believe um, the reef she always includes refills for every pen that comes in your order and I believe this time I requested 0.7 in blue where all of these ship with a uh, 1.0 in black so these are considered a bold the refills I ordered came in blue in a medium anyway so that's what I ordered and then everything else came in either the mystery package or the mystery box and I don't know which is which it doesn't say um, so these were the five pens <clears throat> that came between the two mysteries that I bought I don't know their names to be here forever if you love pen gems and I guess you're you know willing to wait uh, okay this one is quite beautiful this one has um, some lavender some clear and some like aquamarine uh, gems inside what are y'all doing and then it's lavender. It's got like a trans, uh, like a holographic gem up top. And this one's in silver. Um, the pens always either come in silver, gold, or rose gold. Um, and it just depends. This one I think I have, and I love, love, love this pen. You know, what, I'm gonna move these over here. Set those there. Yeah, I have this one, and that's okay, because I love it. This is one of their patriotic ones. Um, it's got red, white, and blue gems on the inside, a blue top. It's in silver. Then, oh, hello, if this doesn't say patriotic, nothing does. Mm. And also... When I put my pens away, they go in the the scuba cases, these guys. Um, but I save all of these. Um, because if you get tired of it, there's actually a sponsored, um, or I should say an approved Pen Gems Facebook group that you can go on and you can swap or trade or sell or buy different pens. Um, and so I keep these so that if I decided to do that, um, I have a case. Is that not awesome? We have white and blue gems in there. We have a red and white stripe, so we have our stripes in our field. Awesome. I don't have that. And I don't think I have either of these either. Um, this says, good vibes only. Anyway, I need to put this away. I'll put that back up there so I can put it away later. And this has um, like gems inside. They have like the AB, so the, the color shift gems. So there's that. And then this guy. I might have this one. Is that not gorgeous or what? It has an ombre from a black to like a gunmetal at the bottom. Black gems. So those are all the pens that came in this order. Then um, it included one of these, which is, I guess you can use it as a... Um, if you want to use it as like, well, it's a wristlet. So you could use it a wallet, I guess, if you want. You got a coin section. You got a couple places for money, um, ID. Um, you've got a place for a pen. It's kind of, I mean, you can't really miss it. It's pretty. So there's that. 
Um, it came with this candle that I smelled that is wonderful. And it is called All Hallows Eve. And I think it's a, it's like a cinnamony smell. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. It's one of my favorite like fall scents. So I'm going to save that. So that obviously came in one of the mystery things I bought. Um, got a little um, small notepad of sticky notes. We have a zip bag of gingerbread house. This isn't something I would have ordered for myself, but it is very cute. It came with a set of Einstein Paper Company. Um, these, so these are like um, for travel, traveling notebooks or journals. And I think these are all the same. I think. Don't quote me. I don't know. Yeah, they're basically the same but different. So... Uh, we have a grid, another grid, and another grid. When I lived in Germany and went to the gymnasium, um, this is what you wrote in. All of your notebooks were like this, and that's what you wrote in. Taking notes, homework, all that stuff. Yep. A gymnasium is a German high school. Um, I know they have two. I don't know if it's two or if it's three that they have so like you go through your primary grades and then when you go to high school um if someone here is from germany deutschland um please clarify it has been many many decades for me <laughs> and um uh, you have one that is kind of like your where your your students are going to go for trades, and then you have another one where they're going to go to school for like um, university. So you know for your doctors and lawyers and engineers and stuff like that. So they have like two different paths to go um, for high school. All right, and it came with two of these. So I'm I'm assuming one came in each of the mystery doohickeys. Little flexible um pen cases you don't have to use it for pen cases if you want you can put lipsticks in there or um, nail files um but i got two they sent me two i love storage so anyway so yeah they sent me two of those and then i have all these pen refills in blue as you can see in the medium point um 0.7 millimeter so so yeah that was my pen gems order um so 20 or uh, 45 and 25 so what is that 70 um i spent a little north of a hundred dollars on this order but I got, this was a bargain. This was like a really good deal. So I'm, it's the first time I've ever done one of their mystery um, orders before. So I'm definitely going to do them going forward. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below or shoot me an email. Um, I'm not affiliated with Pen Gems. They don't sponsor me. I bought this stuff. Um, anybody who's followed my channel forever will know that I will come flat out and tell you if I don't like something. <laughs> Um, even if it's sent to me for free, um, which I haven't done anything sponsored or done reviews in a long time. Anywho, um, but yeah, I'll flat out tell you if I don't like something or if I think you can get it cheaper somewhere else. Yeah, you can go find cheap versions of these in stores, but these are, I'm going to tell you hands down, a much better quality because I've bought the cheap ones. Um, and these say pen gems. So, um... So yeah, so there's that. Um, don't forget, I mentioned in my uh, BoxyCharm video, I have House Mouse on the way. So that'll be on later this week. Um, and also, one day this coming weekend, 
Miss Marie and I have spoken. And so we are going to be doing, I guess we're going to call it installment one. Installment one is going to be the Stamp of Roses. And installment two is not going to happen for a few months. But installment two will be the either the Stampendous or Stamp Abilities that are left over. And um, if you go to the end of the boxy charm video i give you kind of like the pricing price point details and how it's going to work um, of course when i do the actual video i'm going to repeat all that information um, i'm going to tell you the stuff is not free um, you're not going to get stamps for one or two dollars um, there's three categories large medium small the larges are 10 the mediums are eight and the smalls are six and i'm going to tell you right now if you are new to House Mouse and not familiar with Stamper Roses, those prices are more than fair. Um, so if that you're questioning the price points, I'm going to tell you they are more than fair, especially if on the second market. Um, if you go and you're looking for House Mouse on like eBay or anywhere else, um, the prices are going to be considerably higher. And I'm going to tell you right now, the stamps are not going to be the same quality. Um as Miss Maria's because she's she loves house mouse like I do so they're kind of like family and she kept them in mint condition even the few that she did use um, are still in amazing condition um, where some of these that you would buy secondhand on eBay etc um, they could be pretty beat up dried out um, and you're going to pay a lot so just putting that out there uh, be on the lookout. I will be giving more details on that later this week on when that's going to happen. And that's it. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm recording this on Sunday. I'm not sure when I'm posting it yet. So just so you know. So, But I will tell you at the end of the week, there's going to be my latest house mouse in, um, installment coming into my collection from Miss Maria. And then again, I will be doing the video. And I think I'm going to do it live um, so that people can ask some questions that I might be able to answer for you if you're not familiar with House Mouse. And, um, it is first come, first serve. Just letting you know. And I trust Miss Maria 100%. Um, so don't worry about that. And she is amazing. She takes great care in her packing of her stamps. And, um, she's just wonderful. So... With that, I'm going to close out here so that I can go dry my hair and go to bed. I love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.